down, we did a turn and holding to kind of help our timing a little bit. And uh, just trying to make it easier for us to get our timing and back inbound to uh, Damascus. Well, we're here to do whatever you guys need us to do. So once we get them on board, uh, let us know what you need and we'll help you take care of it if we can. I'm sure you guys have everything taken care of back there. So. We'll take care of our end, and uh, we'll let you take care of yours, and uh, we'll keep them all working together. Okay, thanks. Our mission is just to go down there and stay on the ground just long enough to pick them up, and we are all pretty fortunate, uh, we all feel fortunate to be on this mission. And the latest intel we've had uh, just now is uh, we have to land on the ground down there at 2025C, so we've been doing a couple turns and holding and uh, slowing our airspeed to make our down in Damascus, good. Uh, we've got some uh, pretty good intel. We've got some good people on the radios here keeping up with what we're supposed to be doing and uh, keeping us informed. We've got a real good Mentech crew in the back with a lot of experience in this kind of thing. We're all new at this, so we're all excited and uh, feel real uh, charged up to go and do this mission. We're an air medical evacuation crew team composed of two nurses and four technicians. We're very excited, or I very excited to be here and be part of this hostage release team. I believe that the patient is probably in, in great disbelief that he's really being released as a hostage. I feel that the patient is going to arrive on the aircraft and look around and really not believe that he's being released until he gets to the spot, his end destination, gets to see some of his family members and see that this is really real. He's free. The final step is up to him. We're going to make sure that he's medically completely healthy. He does need some dental work. Uh, all the hostages have had uh, re have required quite a bit of dental work to date. We plan to do this in the next day or two. After that, he does what he wants. I might want to mention how exciting, how much fun it is for the entire crew, the air crew, medical crew, and everyone else for these hostage repatriations. Uh, it's really uplifting to be able to do something like this for now the ex-hostage, Sutherland, but also hopefully in the near future for the other hostages.